hemming that dreaded squirrely chiffon. Stay tuned. Hi sewers, I'm Carrie and this is So Darn Fun, a channel all about clothing alterations and other fun sewing items. If you've ever tried it, you know what I'm talking about. A love-hate relationship. It's pretty. You gotta love it. You gotta hate it. Not fun to deal with. All the formal dresses have it. So hard to deal with. Doesn't like to be hemmed. Bias likes to pull. We are going to whip it into shape. You hear that? What I'm gonna show you is what I call the little micro hem. You could serge it, turn it, and top stitch it, but that's not what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I've come up with to try to replicate that little teeny tiny hem that comes on the factory made dresses because you can kind of see behind. A lot of brides don't want that quarter inch hem showing on the inside if you were just to serge it and turn it. And so I'm gonna show you a way to make that little teeny tiny hem without using one of those rolled hem feet, which I've never been able to figure out how to use. This is with a straight stitch machine. You don't need anything fancy. One of the most important things that I can tell you is when you mark the dress, have it hanging. Either have somebody wearing it, put it on dress form, even put it on a hanger. I have put it on a hanger before and stuffed it with um, bubble wrap or stuffing or batting to try to get kind of a human shape out of it so that all the parts of the hem hang out like it would if it was on a body. But if you lay it flat, Every single time you measure it is going to come up measuring different because the bias pulls and it's almost impossible to get it to lay exactly flat like it should. Hang it. Put it on somebody. That way all the pull is going to come out of the bias and you're going to get a more accurate mark. I measure from the floor up. I have a chalk marker that I use that I think works really well for me. So that's the first most important thing is to hang it while you measure it. go to the actual fabric here I thought I'd bring you to a piece of paper so I can demonstrate the process that we're going to go through so that you can see all the nuances that might not otherwise be seen on the fabric so here I'm going to pretend that I've got my hem line drawn so here's my line this is the extra part of the hem that's too long so on my line here with my iron or in this case with my finger, I'm gonna press on that line, pretend I'm ironing so that it's nicely, neatly turned up. There's where my hemline is. And that's what I'm going to do with my iron on my fabric. I'm gonna press it up exactly at that hemline. Now here's where it's a little bit tricky. What I'm gonna do when I'm at the machine is I'm gonna pull back the seam allowance a little bit without pressing it. This is going to be something that I just do freehand. And I've got a little dotted line here. I'm going to stitch, 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 stitch right there, just inside that little teeny tiny hem. The benefit of this is the hemline that I need is already pressed up. And so when I go all the way down with those little tiny stitches just outside my actual hem, when I trim it away from the wrong side, so let's Pretend that stitch down and I'm gonna trim it away right inside where those little tiny stitches are. Let's go all the way down here. Get that out of the way. I am able to now, from the right side, just fold that right under without a problem because it's already pressed on the line that I need. It's easy to fold it and I have that itty bitty hem. And then from the top, 
I can come in with my machine and stitch on the top right next to it. So it is a process of stitching twice. So that's what we'll do on the fabric. Here's the real deal. Pressing up on all those light chalk marks that I've made. Sometimes chiffon does not like to take a press very well, but I find that if you can cool it off with a towel or a ham or anything, just to kind of push it on there and let it cool down, then it holds that crease better. Here I've got the hem folded up underneath. You can see my crease line right here. And I'm just pulling it away, pulling the top layer away, revealing a little bit of that hem allowance and stitching right to the right of the fold, not on the fold, but just to the right of it. As I get to each section, I just kind of pull the top layer and peel it back just a little bit, revealing more of that hem allowance. And I'm kind of uh, not pulling from behind, but I'm kind of keeping tension so that it feeds evenly and doesn't make too tight of a stitch. On the bias of this chiffon, it can get kind of cranky, so I have to whip it into shape and make it do what I want it to do. So all the way around the skirt we go, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, here we are back at the ironing board. This is what we have so far. So let's point out what we've done. First, this is our original pressed hem right here to the left side of that stitching. We turned the fabric under. We kind of pulled back the top layer. We made a little tiny seam allowance, and then we stitched right here. That's what we've just finished. Now our next process is to cut the extra away and this takes some extra care. I found this to be the easiest way for me but it took a little bit of practice. I use applique scissors. They look like this and it makes it easy for me to slide these in and cut off that extra hem. So if I hold it taut like this I need to make sure that my that my top layer here is nice and flat and straight and isn't going to come between my scissor blades, which could be tragic. So I'm gonna start by snipping. Take this part very slowly and methodically. You don't wanna cut it so close that the fabric starts shredding away from the stitching. So maybe just a, a thread or two away from that line of stitching. Slowly and carefully all the way around. And voila, here's our nicely hemmed chiffon layer. With a little patience, a little practice, a little care, we can whip that chiffon into shape and fear it no more. And a special thanks to Helga the Helpful for being such a nice still dress form so that I could mark this without her wiggling around. No, really, I mean it. She's so modest. If you found the information in this video helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of more helpful videos coming out. Thank you for watching So Darn Fun.